Hey guys, this is Noel and Gangel here right now back with some more Game of Thrones and where we left off. So um, now we get to explore a little bit and let's see what the heck we can do here. Ooh, a bucket. Torch! Rather cute little Ugh, creatures, aren't they? God. I guess. <laughs> Freaking disgusting. Maggots! Oh, we can actually take the bandage. Nice. I wonder if we can take the herb next to it. Looks like useful items. Oh yeah, we can take the bandage. The I mean the freaking um the healing herbs. This mile. It's actually pretty late, guys. I'm drinking my pre-workout, so yeah, I'm dedicated. <laughs> All right, so um, let's see here. What else is there? Can we go further mm. back? You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. Uh, I'm fine, Master Tengren. Look, I'll show you. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, we can look at this black window, baby. <laughs> That's horrible. I, I I regret saying that. <laughs> it's kind of a play on uh, Black Widow from um, Iggy Azalea. <laughs> I regret it, guys. You guys don't have to snicker. I regret it already. Alright, so in case you guys are wondering, we're pretty screwed because I guess we pissed off a powerful house because I killed some of their men, even though it was justified. And this place is the one that has those trees, so they might actually use that, um, they might use that as a way of, I guess, uh, you know, trying to get to us and pressure us to get rid of the trees. Let's go look at the tapestry seat for, uh, tapestry first. Um, that's what I think anyway. Not sure. Because, uh, yeah, because the trees are pretty important because it was highlighted in the beginning of the game. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Alright. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Yeah, Lord Forrester was pretty cool. Gregor the Good. Roderick. He was our best warrior Damn. by far. He had some awesome skill. Too bad, man. Too bad. Alright, guys. So I guess we have to go talk to the maester mm -hmm. here. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Oh, we did this, so we can just talk to him. Uh, how do I talk to you? There we go. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. Alright. So At the Ethan. Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third born son, is challenging. Third born son. Oh, yeah, because so the other one was exiled. Get the very fate and Roderick the future of this house rests killed. in his hands. So now Ethan. Which is rather right. frightening when you think about it. That's interesting. Uh, Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Oh, but that was because of trees. Oh, you do that, Ironwood. The White Hills want Forester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them. Especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Damn, that sucks. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... Circumstances, it becomes <laughs> a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the 
twins. I, I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Yeah. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is, but I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. <laughs> loot. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Ah. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank, Thank you, my lady. Oh, yeah. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, What's up, Shouty? I heard what happened. Is hey. it true? Should have cased me and make me feel better. Your family... <laughs> Sorry. Mato. Uh, Off to bed now. Hurry on. I'm going to see they have such respect for me considering that he's just a squire. It's pretty awesome. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. It was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. Mm -hmm. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. Sad. This has been so incredibly difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told, I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed, if you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. Perhaps the opportunity never presented itself. You have the Forester's sword. Yeah, I'll Ethan should sure have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Aggression. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family! Heard that. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. <laughs> I like that guy. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. If not now, when? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost <laughs> as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. We should demand justice. Aye, justice on their terms, which means they'll have your head. Justice is taken, not demanded. Yep. But what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this, I'll accuse you of murder and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. Fuck the Boltons. One of their men killed my family. Aye, you'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse uh, Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. 
Where would you have the boy go? The one place that's safe, beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not Damn. in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm going to the wall. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I'm going where the ruffians go. It doesn't go. seem fair, but it is what's best. For oh, so. I don't want Uncle sending me to the wall. That settles it then. Zam. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Yep. It's time to go to the wall. Pretty exciting, guys. If you guys don't know what the wall is, pretty much where they send like other thieves and stuff, other lawbreakers. The ones that stand to up to against the I'd gladly authority. drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. Guilt. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. Guilt, you and... <laughs> I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said... Yo. The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, "Tell only you." For good reason, most. As well, and tell his wife. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. And you're sending me away. Dick! This will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. It's always about the honor, guys. Always. Let's go, horse. Garrett, wait! What up, Shouty? Hey, you should have given me some of your panties instead. <laughs> oh safe. my god. <laughs> oh my god. I kill, like, I'm killing this whole story by saying stupid shit like that. <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. <laughs> Alright, this is supposed to be a sad moment me leaving, guys. Alright, just just remember that. It's sad, it's sad, it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> 